Where do I start? Um, first off, I want to talk a bit about my health. I know I haven't been posting many videos because when you lose feeling in parts of your body, like I lost the feeling in me from my right foot, I've lost complete use of my calf muscle, the right hand side of my leg is numb, it scared the living shit out of me. Anyway, I went to see, um, I was going to say psychologist then, <laughs> I went to see a, not an osteopath, what's the other one? Physiotherapist. Um, basically the things that I've been doing to try and make me back right are completely wrong. I was doing stretching exercises, stretching my sciatic nerve, I was going on my inversion table, nothing seems to be helping permanently. Temporarily, yeah, it would help permanently, no change whatsoever. Anyway, she said that um, by the swelling that she can feel on my back, I've got, I think it's L3 and L4 are uh, herniated discs. One's to go do my sciatica, the other one's to do with the numbness in my leg and everything else. Anyway, she said, you're going to be fine. But you don't do those exercises. Stay off the inversion table because it's doing you no, no benefit whatsoever. Purely because when I lock my ankles in, I have to stretch down and it bloody well hurts. She said, either get somebody else to do it or don't go on it. I'm single, I live alone, so I can't do it. Anyway, I've been doing the exercises that she said for a couple of days now, and only those exercises, and I'm a lot better. Psychologically, I'm a lot better. Everything, I'm a lot better. I am on the road to recovery, and she said, here's one thing I didn't know. Logically, this is the way it works. When your sciatica goes, that means that your back is starting to recover because the pressure's taken off your sciatic nerve then you've got to cure your back, you've got to get your back ready so as you can use it properly. What I did was, the pain went, I'd had it since Christmas, the pain went for about three or four days and I went back to being myself and lifting heavy weights. I am bloody strong for my age and I, I, I didn't think it would bother me. Anyway, she says I've done more damage than last time, that's why it's more painful, loss of feeling and everything else. It can take 24 weeks for your back to recover, so I've got to permanently wear a back brace for probably the next, uh, about in the next month, she said. When my sciatic pain's gone completely, that's when I've got to build my core strength up and, and build my back properly up. She's assured me I'm not going to get any worse as long as I follow her instructions and as, as long as I don't try and lift anything. Things like, I mean this battery weighs about a kilo, I'm fine with that because I can put my hand in it, I can lift it and I'm taking all the stress off. Everything I'm doing, there is no stress on my back. So, I am being recovered. This is my GPS Speedo, which came from Banggood. Thanks Banggood, it's far better than the one I had before. Well I've still got that other one fitted, but this is going to be the replacement. This is an analogue one, as you can see, which I much prefer, and it's got 0 to 80 miles an hour on it. That's the uh, the odometer at the bottom there, the LCD bit, and obviously that goes up. Now this is motor driven, it's not, I thought it would be like um, solenoid, whatever, driven, but it's not, it's motor driven, because when you plug it in you can hear it go zzzz. So, it does work. Up to two miles an hour, because that's the fastest I can walk at the minute. When you unplug it, I don't know if you can hear it. When you plug it in, oh, it's already got a fix. Um, there's a countdown, that LCD counts up to 300 seconds. And if it doesn't get a GPS lock in 300 seconds, it goes error. But, obviously there's a battery in it and it remembers so it's fine. I don't know if the GPS, which is here, I don't know if the GPS is glowing ass or what. But that is going to be fantastic. For the price of it, absolutely fantastic. I know it was given me free, loads of things have been given to me free, and I've slated them something terrible because they're shit. That ain't. As far as I can tell so far, but I don't know how long it's going to take to actually do a full bike video on it because of my back. Anyway, I've got on here some LEDs. Uh, we've got green there, amber there, we've got blue there and there's a red one there. 
that's going to be for left indicator, right indicator, that one's going to be for headlights, that one's going to be for main beam, I don't know what the rest are going to be for, and then the speedo. GPS sensor goes on the bottom there. Obviously none of these are wired up at all. This bit goes over the handlebars, cable ties around there, it'll be fine, believe me, because the the clamp on the handlebar sits right up against there so it's not going to go anywhere and it's going to sit at around about an angle like that so i'm quite looking forward to this i mean that oh that just flickered then that's got uh, a red backlight i'll turn the lights off beautiful red backlight right these three these three wires you've got blue red and you've got orange so the blue one is negative the red one is positive and the amber one although you're not going to be able to see it is the backlight simple as that so that makes that a lot better so it's not permanently powered it's switch powered mm -hmm. so i'll be able to fit that perfectly fantastic mm -hmm. that's what i wanted to do in the first place but it never turned up if the other one had turned up last then I probably wouldn't have even fitted it to be honest so this is going on so that's that that's a GPS speedo this is a 12 volt winch which will do up to what is it 2000 pound 909 kilo but the current drawer I looked on it was 120 amps <laughs> It's not going to be pulling that much. Anyway, it's 1.1 horsepower. The idea of this is, if you put it into that position there, that'll turn. No, it won't. You lock it into that position, that free wheel's like that. Now, this is the cable that I took off, which I'm not going to use, I'm not going to need. This is actually, this weighs about uh, 2 kilo. I'm going to cut the hook off there, which I'm going to use, but I'm using some nylon or polypropylylon leading sort of um, whatever it is rope around here. The idea is what I'm going to do is attach it to the railings at the top of the stairs and then with the hook. The idea is f talking about this is the cable which weighs about two kilo, which I'm not going to use because it's it's overkill don't need it I'm not going to be pulling 900 kilo with it it's probably going to only pull because of the angle of the stairs about 30 kilo so I've got to cut the hook off because I'll need that it's non-stretch cord it's not bungee sort of thing it's non-stretch cord which will be fine it's a tenth of the weight of weight that this weighs uh, two and a half kilo that's all now it comes with a bracket, it comes with everything. It comes with all this bloody these wires and mounting brackets and god knows what. And I think I paid about 50 quid for it. Um, I'll need that. I'm going to replace these and put um, silicon wire on it because I've got quite a bit of it left over to make it number one lighter and number two more bloody flexible. This stuff is so thick. And that's got to take 120 amps through that apparently. It's going to get a bit bloody warm though. <laughs> that's all it is. Those two wires go on the motor on the end there. Those two go onto the battery and then you've got up and down. Simple as. So I've got to figure out some way of either permanently mounting this to the bike or temporarily mounting it to the bike then keeping this in the car so as when I get home I can get out of the car and I can lift the bike up the stairs it's not going on the outside of the stairs I'm not going to lift it freestanding it's going to have to go up the stairs hopefully this is going to be a solution if it ain't a solution because of my back I'm going to have to get it put it in a garage somewhere the only garage I can find that I can actually use is 10 miles away which will mean that I won't be able to take the bike to work well I might be able to, I don't know what the range is going to be yet and I'll have to keep it there and use it only on a weekend or when I'm on holiday so as I've said I do apologise for not posting many videos it's one video every other week at the minute until I feel 100% with standing up for a long time I'm in pain at the minute because I've been standing up for 10 minutes but I've got something coming up I'm going to be doing some RC videos as well 
don't hit that unsubscribe button because it's only planes my flying skills are shit I'm gonna crash there's gonna be a lot of outtakes there's gonna be a lot of swearing there's gonna be a lot of everything so this is for the bike I've got my RC stuff I'm gonna start doing as well when I'm not feeling 100% when we'll be back to stand up or do anything any work on the bike which I'm not working on at the minute this thing here took me a couple of days to design it sitting in my sick bed that's basically all I've done in the last three weeks is that nothing else the rest of it I've just been lying on my back I've got some grommets for the bike various size grommets um, to waterproof the cable in as well so keep watching we, uh, things will improve I promise you just stick with it please